Are the rich really different from you and me, as the old adage says? But yes, in many ways, from sometimes not having to ask the price of certain items they want to purchase to choosing different states where they want to live. According to a recent report by Smart Asset, those who earn more than 200000 a year, a population based on 8.68 million tax returns in 2021, up from 8.57 a million a year earlier in 2020, are moving mostly to Florida and Texas and away from California and New York. The report is based on the taxes filed between 2020 and 2021 for the data from all 50 states plus the District of Columbia. The number of these high income earners can have a positive effect on the state's tax base and finances. The 200,000 reflects fires with the filer, excuse me, with adjusted gross incomes of at least that amount and comes from the internal revenue source or service data. Florida, which doesn't have an income tax, was at the top of migration winners, gaining 27,567 of these high income earners. Even with an outflow of 12,567, uh, Texas came in second, added 9,008 residents in 2021, but lost 13,743. Other parts of the Southeast were also recipients of big earners. These destinations were followed by Nevada, Idaho, Colorado, and Utah. California's net outflow accelerated 40% from the previous year's exodus. Besides New York, other Northeastern states that lost high income earners included New Jersey, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania, plus the uh, District of Columbia. <clears throat> the nation capital lost its cohort of $200,000 higher earners uh, at a fast pace, a net total of 2009 between 2020 and 2021. Still, other states had big net outflows in 2021, including Illinois, Massachusetts, and New Jersey, followed by Virginia, Maryland, and Minnesota. However, even with many leaving those states, still had plenty of high income earning households left. At least 7.2% of the tax base in each of those states earned 200 grand or more a year. The report also offered advice to following those into the high income earning category, name, or namely to hire a financial advisor. Uh, some, some of those would also consider alternative investments and take advantage of a backdoor Roth IRA. Now, if you're in need of an experienced commercial real estate broker, I can be reached at 281-222-0433. Appreciate your time and have a good week.